Area charts are very similar to line charts in that they show change over time. The key difference being that the area between the line and the x-axis is shaded in. In this video, we're going to work with area charts. For example, taking our long-term CO2, I'm going to come up to chart sign, come to change chart type, come down to area, and choose area chart. And when I say OK, very similar, but arguably a little bit more eye catching. There are, however, situations where the area chart may prove to be a little more effective for visualization. Let's look at an example. We're going to come to emissions by region. All right, I have already created a line chart tracking the increase in emissions by the major world regions. Unfortunately, this chart is really messy and not so easy to read. What I would ideally like to show is the proportional increase by region in emissions as well as the total increase. And I can do this by using a stacked area chart, okay? So we're going to click on Emissions by Region Chart, and we're going to come to Change Chart Type, and we're going to come down to Area. If we were to choose just the standard area chart, you can see that it's not really going to solve the problem. If anything, it's making it worse because I can't see all the areas that are hidden behind the others. I'm not going to choose that option, right? I'm going to choose the stacked area, and we're going to say OK. And there is a very attractive readable chart. Great. Let's copy that. Just click on the edge, control C, and come back to our area worksheet and we'll pop that into B25. If you see some security notice from Microsoft, just ignore it and click paste everything. Now we've got one final example that we're going to create from scratch. We're going to come to our last lab, which are emissions by sector. But here I want to do something quite different. I actually want to see how different sectors' proportional contributions to CO2 have changed over time. We're not looking for the actual amount, but the proportion. A little bit more like a pie chart. For this, we're going to use a 100% stacked chart. Let's start by clicking into C3, Transport. Hold Control and Shift key together and press your right arrow and your down arrow. Then release Control and Shift and we're going to come to our Insert tab. We're going to come across to the line chart, but we're going to choose the 100% stacked area. This will show us the percentage contribution of each of our sectors. With the line chart still selected, we're still going to come to Format and we're going to make it 5 inch high by 9 inch wide. Alright, and now I'm going to move it up so you can see it more easily. We're going to need to fix our horizontal axis. Let's click to Chart Design. Select Data. Then click Edit under Horizontal Category Axis. Click onto 1960 and Control Shift Down Arrow and then press OK and click OK. All right, here you go. Of course, we should give this chart a proper title. Clicking into Chart Title, I'm going to press Control A and type Emissions by Sector. Then one final little formatting tweak we'd like to make. Instead of showing the labels on the legend, we would actually like to see the labels on the segments. Again, more like a pie chart. So we're going to come to our chart elements and we're going to turn off our legend and instead we're going to turn our data labels on. But, oh dear, what a mess. Instead of putting the series labels, it put on the value labels. But we can easily change this. Click onto one set of data labels and then another way to get to that panel on the right 
open, we're going to right click and format data labels. Now, you see at this moment it's showing the value. We're going to unclick value and turn the series name on, okay? Now, unfortunately, we have to do these one at a time, but it's pretty quick. Which is going to unclick value, turn on series, and then repeat that for each of the series. Now, this will probably look a little bit better in white, so I'm going to come to my Home tab, make them white, maybe increase the size. And then to apply that to the others, I'm going to use my Format Painter. I'm going to double-click the Format Painter, and then just single-click onto each of my labels. We should apply the same formatting. Then single click on your format painter again to turn it off. Now let's select our whole chart, Control C. Come back to our line and area chart. Pop it into K25 to complete your emissions overview reports. One last thing we're going to talk about in this video, and that is colors. When we're using visualizations, obviously, colors are very important. And it may be that the colors you see here will not represent your organization or the type of data that you're trying to represent. Now, there are two ways you can approach this. For example, come into Emissions by Region. All these series are not really standing out. I'm going to click on the last series, and I'm going to come to my Format tab. And then Shape Fill. Here you've got some theme colors. Generally, I would recommend use theme colors, but if you don't want to, you can come to More Fill Colors Custom, and there's so much more you can choose from. I'm going to come back to my theme colors, and I'm going to go for all blue colors from light to dark. Do the same until change the color of the last series. That's the one way that you could approach this. But we've already created quite a lot of charts, and to go manually and change each of the colors in each of those charts is going to be very time-consuming. And we also run the risk of losing consistency. So a better approach is to come with your Page Layout tab, come to the Themes button, which controls the colors used within your workbook. And as you'll see, as I hover over the different themes, it completely changes the color scheme. And sometimes the font scheme within your workbook. When you find one where you like the look of it, you can click to apply the changes. Now you'll notice that it has also changed my font. And if I don't want that to happen, you can mix and match. If I come back to fonts, you can just set it back to Calibri if you want, or you can go to change your colors. You even have the option to come down to customize colors and you can go and set up your own color scheme altogether. We're not going to do that now though. You'll notice having changed our colors, all the colors in the workbook, not just on this sheet but on the pies and donuts and the techniques have changed except for those two blues that I added before. And that's because they weren't theme colors. The benefit of using theme colors is when you change your theme, the colors all change. Now I'm going to go back, I'm going to undo and set it back to the colors that I had before, because I really like those colors. But if you have a play, find a color scheme that works for you. 
So whether you're starting out or looking to sharpen your Excel skills, this course is going to be your ticket to becoming an Excel pro. Check out the link in the description to start learning today. Thank you for watching till the end. Thank you for being here, and don't forget to like this video if you found some value in it. And do subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. And I'll catch you in the next video.